Hey guys, Ahsoka here. So I am just going to do a quick uh, video of the new DC Direct, DC Essentials figures that are coming out next month. So first of all, big thanks to my friends at uh, DC Direct for sending me these for an early look. So again, this is just going to be a very quick, dirty, fast look at these uh, figures. Definitely not an in-depth review, but I just wanted to give you guys uh, a video of these awesome figures. So let me go ahead and switch the and let's take a look at them so here we are and here they are the new wave of dc direct dc essentials figures these are coming out next month so obviously these are repaints retools of existing dc direct figures but if you guys can see from the collection behind you i'm a big fan of having multiple versions of the same character so i'm all in on this wave i really love the choices they made with these figures and uh, let's take a look at them so first we have this new return of superman black suit superman figure so this is from the death of superman return of superman series um first thing that comes to mind is hey how come his hair is short well this is based on the cover of superman 81 which he did have short hair on for some reason in that one cover um, so that's what they're saying this is based on i'm totally cool with that as you can see in the background here i have the original version uh with the longer hair so i'm fine having one that has the shorter hair and i i love the the face sculpt they did on this guy it's uh i love the five o'clock shadow i think it looks great so they did a great job with this figure the face sculpt the shot the five o'clock shadow on his face so it's, it's a beautiful figure um, next is the Batman Rebirth version 2 uh, Batman. So what's the difference between this and the version 1? Well, let's show you. So here's version 1, which is a gray and blue color scheme. And the version 2 is a gray and black color scheme. So um, they're both, you know, they both look great. I prefer the, the new version with the black and the gray. Uh, just it's my preference, but the other version is great as well. One thing I'm going to point out is on my old version, he does not stand. He always falls over, so I have him on a stand. All of the newer version or the newer DC Essentials figures, they really stand really well. Um, I don't know if they they specifically address that issue or or what, but they all stand very easily, as you can see here. All right, so next we have the New 52 Nightwing. So this is based on his New 52 appearance with the red and black color scheme. Now, this differs from the other versions that we've gotten from DC Collectibles because the logo is fat. Uh, this is from a very specific style, I think Eddie Barrow style for Nightwing, where the logo is just really big, which I, which I love. So it is not the skinnier Nightwing logo is this thicker one you see, which I think looks awesome. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, if you compare him to the first version that they released, the black on the first one is more of like a matte black, which looks fantastic. But the new version has this more metallic black, which is also fantastic and just gives it a nice, you know, kind of difference from the first version. So again, um, both versions are awesome. I can't say which one I like more because I like both looks of this costume. I'm a little bit more sentimental on this version because it reminds me of the Chris O'Donnell Robin costume, uh, which I am a big Batman Forever fan. Actually, well, that was from Batman and Robin, which I'm not a fan of that movie um, as much as Batman Forever, but I love that costume uh, with the red and the black. So that's what it reminds me of. And then finally, we have the Speed Force Flash figure. So this is the Flash figure just with translucent body parts to kind of represent the Speed Force look that we see from the Flash from time to time. So they do use the exact same body sculpt that they've done with the uh, Zoom uh, the reverse flash, I'm sorry, not zoom, reverse flash figure, um, and the other flash figure that was released. So it's the same body, but I think it's an awesome figure because it definitely reminds me of the Speed Force. And I think it's just a really cool figure. I mean, it's translucent, translucent, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I think it's really a really neat figure and it's going to look great on the shelf. All right, so there you go. Um, so anyways, that's just my quick look at these figures. I'll probably do... I'll get him to stand there. Come on. You can do it, buddy. There you go. So I will probably do a more in-depth review at some point on my YouTube channel. But for now, there's just a quick quick look at these figures. These guys are coming out next month. 
So they should be available at your local comic book store, all the usual suspects, and yeah, I can't recommend them enough. I mean, they're just awesome figures. If you like these versions of these characters, you're really going to like these. You know, they're sturdy, beautifully designed, awesome figures. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a great evening or day or whenever you're watching this. Thank you.